What's up YouTube, welcome back. I have another quick and easy SQL problem for you. This one's part of SQL 50 and it requires using a few functions, so I'll walk you through it. This one's called fix names in a table. It's numbered 1667 and it's part of SQL 50's advanced string functions regex clause section. So this one will require us to do a bit of string manipulation, which is what we're gonna need the functions for. So let's get into this example data and problem. So in terms of the data, we have one table called users, which has a user ID and a name, quite simple. And our task is to write a solution to fix the names so that only the first character is uppercase and the rest are lowercase. So we basically want to capitalize words, but only the first character. Return the result table ordered by user ID and here is some example data. So. Yeah, we would have user ID and name where the name is all messed up and there are some upper and lower case characters in no particular order. We would want our output to just capitalize the first letter and make names appear as they usually would in sentences or written text where just the, the first letter is or character is capitalized. So in order to solve this, we need to use a few, use a few functions and sort of work through the parts of this. So we want to take the first letter, capitalize it. Then we want to take the rest of the string and decapitalize it or just make it lowercase. Yeah, so these are pretty much the problems we need to solve. Then we need to combine these parts and we'll have our final output. So I'll start coding up the example output by selecting user ID and name from users ordering by user ID because we're supposed to do that for the example output or just for our final output. Yeah, so name is really what we need to work with here. And yeah, in order to do that, I'll walk you through a couple of functions. So we're, interesting. we're interested in getting the first character of a string. And if we do that, if we're starting from the left looking at a string, there's one function called left, which allows us to select a number of characters from the left for a given string. So this example here on W3 schools would extract the first three characters from a string starting from the left. And for SQL tutorial, which is the example string, the output would be SQL. So just the first three strings. If we use left and just say one character, we would just get the first character of that string since we're starting from the left. So let's do that here. Let's say left name one as a name. And yeah, that should give us the first character of that string. Now, in order to make it uppercase, capitalize it, we can use another function called upper, which just makes this string uppercase. So a sort of nesting function calls now, first getting the first element of the string and then making it uppercase. Let's run that for now to see what it gives us, which is we should just get the first letter capitalized for each name. So for Alice, we get a, an uppercase A and for Bob, we get an uppercase B. So that looks pretty good for now. For the other part, let's maybe make this first part and then we're selecting a second part string. We will need to get, we will need to get the rest of that string make it lowercase. So instead of the left function, we can use a function called right, which pretty much does the opposite and selects from the right side. So if we do right of name, we can select a number of characters from the right. So we would want to pretty much select all characters except for the first one. So in order to get all the characters, we could do length of name, which gives us the amount of characters that string has, that word has. And yeah, for Alice, it would be five. So that would give us all five characters counting from the right. It would still be in the order reading left from right. So it would still spell Alice and not spell it backwards. But yeah, that would give us that in order to not get the first character, we can just perform a calculation on what we get from length and say minus one to reduce that by one. 
and not get the first character, if that makes sense. So if we were using write name and length of name, then we would get the entire string Alice. And now since we're saying just do length name and so on, we would get four characters starting from the right. So these four L I C E. Yeah, which would be the second part. And this works for each string length because it calculates the length and then does minus one, which only omits the first character. So that should work. In order to make this lowercase, we can use a function called lower, which I use a lot as a data scientist in my day to day, because it allows you to search for specific strings quite easily. And yeah, if you just make your search term lowercase and then apply the lower function to the column in which you're searching in, then you sort of remove cases uh, or case sensitivity from your search. So you just make everything lowercase, have a lowercase search term, and this way you don't have to handle people capitalizing certain things or not. So that's a pretty good trick. Can use it with um, regular expressions as well to sort of make that string appear anywhere in that column string. So yeah, just have the name Bob appear anywhere in like a sentence, which is a column. Yeah, but I'm getting off topic. This one should give us the second part. So if we run this, we should have two different columns apart from user ID. So we would have A and then list, B and op, and combining that would give us what we want. So in order to combine that, we can use the concat function, which just concatenates two strings. So let's just put that into parentheses to apply the function to it have a comma in between to have the two arguments separated. So first argument is the first string, the first letter or character, and then the rest of the string in lowercase. Yeah, and let's call that name and that should be our final output. So I'll submit that straight away to check whether it's accepted and whether we have the right output format, but that should do a trick. I'm gonna go through one other way of doing this, which might be easier for you. I'm just really used to using left and right. You can even use left for date strings to sort of just get the year from a date or the year and month. And that works pretty well. So I like using it. There's another function I want to showcase, which is the substring function, which also allows you to sort of walk through a string and select certain parts of it. But you can start at anything at any position. So you don't have to start from the left or the right, you can sort of take elements starting at a specific index. So you could say in this example, SQL tutorial as well, start at position one, extract three characters. So here's sort of the walkthrough. This would give you, would it give you SQL or would it give you QL and then and on a score. I think we can find out, I think this should start from zero if you wanted to get the first character. So let's just try it. Yeah, so we're back here. Let's say we want to have substring of name, and then we specify the position, which would be one. And then we can specify how many characters. So it could be three or four. It could also be length of name minus one to get all the rest. But if we omit that part, that argument, then it would just take the rest of the string from this position that we're supplying. So yeah, if we only apply that position, it will take anything from that position if you use the substring function. So that should do the trick here. Let's see whether this um, index one works or whether we would have to supply zero. In this case, we get Alice and Bob, but yeah, the lower function hasn't been applied because I forgot this. I forgot closing out the lower function since I sort of manipulate that here. As a name from user. Yeah, one more parenthesis to close out the concat function and that should do the trick. So this one gives us A Alice, B Bob. So 
actually it doesn't work so let's say to start from position two and yeah apparently the index starts from one so would have to start with two to get the remainder and that should do the trick so let's submit that as well i'm going to bring up this sort of definition here as well note the position of the first character in the string is one so yeah the index starts with one here something to keep in mind maybe that makes the left function easier here and right function but yeah you can use whatever you like here this is just walking through a few different string manipulation functions. You can also use substring for that first part where you just get the first character. So I think it would be substring name one one. So starting from one, just output one character and that should be with the trick. So that's a good question to sort of get into string manipulation. You should definitely know, uh, know lower, upper, left, right and concat, potentially substring because it makes things easier. So that's a good overview to work through string. Uh, strength, the length function is also very helpful. So yeah, you can take a note here or use a cheat sheet to sort of have these as something to look up or just refer to W3Schools as a great resource. And that'll be it for that question. I'm going to go through the remainder of SQL 50 on lead code. I have a playlist for every sort of video I have on SQL 50. So if you want to solve everything and study with me, Take a look and follow along and I'll see you in one of the other videos. Bye-bye.